morning guys, hope you're all doing well. I'm hoping that this morning, some of you might recognize where I am. Uh, quite a famous location in, in the UK. Uh, and I suppose the introduction there might have given it away a bit. But yeah, I'm at Land's End. And at this moment in time, it is very surreal because obviously I've been here when it's been packed. But it's just me here. I know it's probably half seven in the morning. The sun's coming up nice and early now, 20 past seven. So, but yeah, so I'm at Land's End. And what I'm aiming to do for this stage is go from here, right the way along the coastline to uh, Cot Valley, which is right in the distance over there on the point. The furthest one you can see, that's in fact Cape Cornwall, but Cot Valley is just before that. Ooh, a couple of birds flew off here, made me jump. Um, so yeah, so this is Land's End. Now, to be honest with you, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, I'll put on the screen there the, uh, the parking charges. Um, but in one of my other videos, I did say that I preferred it as it used to be and the house down at the bottom there in the distance with the light on used to be the only building on Land's End and that was the first and last house and that's what I remember as a kid but now I think someone's bought it a few, good few years ago and there's a hotel here you can stay in the hotel there's, there's rides for the kids in summer you know it gets quite busy but Again, you know, things are money-making machine, isn't it, really? But I've never been in the hotel. I've been in there for some food. But I've never been in the hotel and stayed. There's a few studios here and, you know, obviously souvenir shops and gift shops. Um, but, yeah, I'm not a big fan of it. I'm not a big fan of it, and especially the signpost. Oh, they fenced it all off. That's the famous sign underneath the scaffold where you could have your picture took for an extortionate amount of money. I think it was something like 12 quid. Um, and you could have, you know, you could have your names in there. You could have your wedding anniversary. The day you got married on the signpost alongside New York and John O'Groats. But yeah, I think it was 12 quid a picture. I mean, long gone are the days where you could just rock up with your old 35 millimeter camera before digital, of course, and uh, snap away to your heart's content. Yeah, not a big fan. Not a big fan, but you know, such is life, such is life. But yeah, I'm just walking down to this little point here. We can see a few of the uh, adventures and walks, I suppose, boat trips. And then that is a plan of what you've got off the coast. I mean, don't know if you can see the Longships lighthouse there on the rock, which I think is about a mile, it's still flashing a lot. You can see the red light still flashing. But yeah, I think that Longships lighthouse was built in, I think the late 1800s. And up until about 1988, it was manned. Um, and obviously now they've, they've automated it. And I think it's managed from, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's managed from a company in Essex somewhere, I think. So whether or not that's remote, I suppose it would be. And a bit further out, you get Wolf Rock, which again, I think was built in the late 1800s. And I think that was the first lighthouse to have a helipad put on the top of it. So this is uh, the little viewing area here at Land's End. Quite nice with the lights on the steps there into the hotel. So I'm walking down to the first and last house down there and then right back round to Sen, in which you can't quite see it in the distance there, but I'll, I'll point that out when I get down to that next point. And also, I think further on, there's a wreck, the RSS Mulheim, which I think uh, ran aground on the coast here at uh, Sen in 2003. So I want to uh, see if I can get some aerial footage, but the only problem with, with this particular stage where I am now, oh, just leave with camera. The only problem with this stage where I am now, from Land's End to uh, Cot Valley, 
is that some of it lies within the flight restriction zone of Land's End Airport. Um, and I think it starts just from past the lookout point that I'll show you in a minute. So it just starts about Senin. So luckily the wreck lies just before Senin. So I'm hoping I'll be able to get my drone up and it won't, uh, it won't block me. But I want to fly, you know, legally and safely. But uh, yeah, so what I'll do, I'll get round to the uh, first and last house. And we'll see what we've got around there. If you're an avid twitcher, or bird watcher, they do have this hut here. Oh, it looks like it's locked up. And these are the types of birds you can see from this part of the coast. There's a few flying around this morning. And there's quite a nice pathway you can stand. It's lovely here on a sunny day, on a lovely warm summer's day. It's phenomenal, what's on? What's on? Oh, this is sea life, look, dolphins and porpoises and other wonderful stuff, basking sharks. Killer whale? Don't think I've ever seen a killer whale. That's a first for me. What does this sign show us? Oh, treacherous coast. Oh, that's about shipwrecks and things. The one I'm looking for is, uh, is it on here? Don't know, but I'm at Land's End, which is here, and it's Dodden, and I think it's probably number four, I reckon. No, not sure which one it's. It's called Mulheim. I don't think it's on there, but anyway, we'll get around there and uh, hopefully I'll be able to show you some aerial footage of that wreck. Because um, yeah, over the over the years, obviously the seas battered it and absolutely destroyed it. And there's like a massive steel carcass, I suppose you could say, that's down on the cliff. And then all the rest of the uh, all the hull has just been scattered like. 10 pin bowling balls so let's get to this first and last house and then uh, I'll show you the view from here so this is the first and last house that I remember when I was young and this is all it was None of that commercialisation in the background there. Yeah, there's a few little other signs here, look, I'll just show you these. I mean, it's a nice view, don't get me wrong. You know? It's lovely, but, you know, I'll stop going on about it. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, some of the uh, grass and things that you think you can find at Land's End and ferns and everything. Obviously a telescope there to look out to uh, long ships. You can buy ice creams, I think, in summer when it's open. Oh, that's the same sign as 
as before. The Brissons. Isles of Scilly. You can see the Isles of Scilly on a nice day. It's about where that rain cloud is. You can see the Isles of Scilly on a nice day. Oh, these are the same signs. Yeah, these are the same signs. But down here is a phenomenal view. Just see if I can find somewhere that's not slushy. Yeah, check that out. And I'm just trying to spot the wreck because you can see it with your eye, but I think it's just around that point there. But yeah, I'll show you that in a sec. But yeah, I'm going to that point, which is, that's Sennen, and I'm finishing this particular bit of the Cornish coastline. The, the one on the very end there, that is Cape Cornwall, and I'm just coming back along the coast to Cot Valley, which is about there. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be quite interesting, this one, because Cot Valley, is, uh, is what's also known as Dinosaur Egg Beach because the, uh, the eggs, the eggs, <laughs> the eggs, the, uh, the rocks, because they've been weathered by the sea over the years. They look like dinosaur eggs. They've all been rounded off. Oh yeah, I can just see the, uh, the back end of the wreck. Yeah, I can just see that. So yeah, so I think what we'll do We'll walk, walk back round the uh, coastal path, back round to the lookout point, which is on the end there. And I will uh, hopefully get my drone in the air and show you the wreck. It's low tide, so you'll be able to see all the wreckage and everything. I did see a photo recently of a guy that climbed down there. You can climb down there, but it's, it's such a, a steep, treacherous climb. I'm not going to do it with all this gear. But I did see a picture of a guy who got down there and some of the boulders that he was stood on were like the size of houses, massive. So yeah, I'm not going to climb down there for you, so I apologise for that. <laughs> so, so we'll get round to the uh, we'll get round to the point and I'll show you the wreck, but that, that's an amazing view. Amazing view. So yeah, let's get going. That wind's a bit fresh as well. What I thought I'd do just before I walk around the coast there, I thought I'd just climb over the rope and just to come down the cliff edge at Land's End. So I've not been down here before. I know like the, uh, oh, check it out. I know the army train off these rocks um, in summer, or oh, maybe all year round, I suppose. I don't know, but I have seen them. Um, I'll do it that way then. I thought something breached out the sea. I'm gonna say I've <laughs> I was gonna say I've not seen a killer whale, and you watch a killer whale pop up. Um, yeah, I have seen the uh, the army train off the rocks here while I've been out here sometimes when I've been on holiday before I moved to Cornwall I just want to try and get down a bit further to show you off the edge of this cliff here it's a bit treacherous with my tripod in one hand and oh, my camera in the other got to get back up that oh well yeah let's see what we get down here oh look at that for a view Look at that for a view. Unbelievable. And that there is looking back towards Land's End. Don't quite know how steep this will be off the edge of here. Whew, yes. Quite a drop to be honest. Quite a drop. Yeah, that's sh sheer drop down there. Can I get around here? Oh yes. Oh wow. 
Look at that. I might just get onto the end of there, see if I can uh, show you on there. There, that is phenomenal. <laughs> bit close to the edge, so yeah, let me see if I can get a bit further down. I'll come back to you in a second, because I want to concentrate. I don't want to become fish food. Yeah, so I managed to climb around nearly to the point. So I suppose, <laughs> I've said this on one of the other videos when I thought, am I the most westerly person now in the UK? But I'm at Land's End, so I suppose there's no other further land other than all these big rocks and the lighthouses. So I suppose I am now the most westerly person in the UK because this, I'm just still on this massive rock is the view I've got, so if I just show you the view which is pretty unreal it's low tide, so you've seen all these rocks, you can see there where the water line is, so you can see how how low the water is and I could get down to that lower level there, onto that rock at the very end, but I'd have to climb down. I'd have to climb down there, and it looks a bit tight, I think. So I think I'll give that a miss, but yeah, I think I've gone as far as I want to go. But I've never been down here before because, of course, you can't get down, but... but yeah, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So right, so I'm going to walk round, I think now the path, get to this wreck and I'll show you the wreck and that's if I get there safely <laughs> trying to get through all these boulders I've never seen rocks as big in my life I suppose you're at Land's End so I mean, look at the view here I've got my legs between this let me just pull up here oh. I mean this is what I'm can I get up here let me see if I can just get up here. Oh. Can I get up here? No, I don't want to. I need another hand. I've got me one hand with me. <laughs> I've got my tripod in one hand and my camera in the other. Let me just put my tripod down a sec. I just want to show you this view off the top of here. Yeah, I've just put my tripod down, sorry about that guys. But yeah, this rock here. Oh, check it. Oh, just look at that. I'm just stood perched on this rock here, which is probably, I don't know, big as a car door, I suppose. Best description I could think of. But yeah, oh wow. Look at those down there, sheer. I wouldn't like to climb down those on a rope, never mind anything else. Yeah, what a view. What a view. What a sky as well, the sky's amazing. So yeah, so I'm gonna stop acting like a goat and get around the path. <laughs> so I'll speak to you around there. If I don't go climbing any more rocks, that is. So I've just done some photographs there of the view of Land's End. Stood on that point, which was those cliffs on the end. And I hope they've come out okay. I'll put them on the screen now. Um, but I promise you, I'm now walking <laughs> along the southwest coast path towards the wreck. I just get distracted. You know, as I'm walking along and I suppose with it being off season, there's nobody around, which is good, which is how I prefer it to be. But uh, I just get distracted and see, oh, I wonder what's down there and what's on the end of that point and what's over that rock. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. It's well worth it though, I mean. 
check the view out. Massive ships out at sea there. Long ships lighthouse in the sun now. So yeah, so sorry, I just get to I just get distracted, but yeah, I can see the uh, the back end of the rick now, so yeah. Oh god. Pick a path through that. Look at that lot. I'm assuming I'm straight up the middle there, so yeah, I'm gonna shoot around to this wreck. Hopefully get me drawn up to show you the wreck. Oh. And uh, let's get around there. So I'll speak to you around there. So I just walked along the coast path and I'm just getting to the spot where you can climb down to the wreck um, and if you check the drone footage out there on the screen you'll see uh, you'll see how it lies in the state of plane it's a bit of a mess to be honest but I suppose it's going to be being next to the sea and getting smashed up on the rocks I'm sharing this with a few waters again guy at the top there and a few horses here this is a bit of a slushy mess I suppose all the water running off over winter and the weather the weather this last couple of weeks I suppose all the UK's had it but luckily down here we've had no flooding in Cornwall and I've seen images on oh dear on the news there of you poor guys further up north having lots of floods but there's obviously a lot of water running off through the fields morning how are we fella are we okay but yeah that look oh you can see it in the bottom let me just get a bit closer i don't want to stand in any horse manure oh, let's get around here Yeah, there, look. That's the SS Mulheim. And you can see it at the bottom there. Can I get a bit closer? Because I don't think you can see it very well on this camera. I mean, that hull is massive. But you can get down, but... You know, I don't quite fancy... Going down these rocks. Let's just go up around here a sec. Jump across that. Yeah, look. Whoa. That was a big wave. Let me just see if I can get onto this little bit of land on the end. Oh, oh. Slipped. <laughs> look at that. Yeah, that's the, uh, that's the wreck. And as you can see, all the... All the wreckage has been pushed right up to the bottom of the cliff there. As the seas come in, it's pushed it all in. So that looks quite treacherous. I mean, it's just that bit underneath me that looks quite a difficult climb. But that looks relatively um, level. It's on a bit of a slope, but it's not as steep as, as what this top bit looks. But when you get down to the bottom, you've got to work your way through all that jagged steel and rusty old metal. No, I don't fancy that. I don't fancy that. But yeah. That's the wreck. And I think that's the first one that I've come across. I think there is quite a few dotted around the Cornish coast, as you can imagine. But uh, that's the first one that I've set eyes on. Yeah, it was quite spectacular, I must admit. It'll be, it's a rusty bucket. But... Uh, I suppose that's why they've left it there because it costs an arm and a leg to uh, salvage that bit and it's in a tricky spot I don't want to slip again so I'm going to walk around keep going around the coast path and I'm going to get to the lookout point and I'll show you the lookout point um, and then we'll drop down into Senen so I'll see you on the top of the lookout point
So I'm just getting down to this lookout station on the headland. That's Land's End over there. First and last house, and I've just been right on that point there doing some photography. Looking back towards Land's End. Sennen in the bottom there, which will go down this path here in a minute and explore Sennen. But I'll just take you up these steps to show you the view from this lookout point, which is pretty spectacular to be fair, as you can imagine. Nobody in? No. Nope. Yeah. Let's look at that. What a view. But yeah, the wreck, I've just remembered, I forgot to mention, the wreck there, I think was on its way from Ireland to Germany. And one of the guys on the ship, I don't know, the first officer or the captain, I think he got up out of his chair, he fell asleep or something, I got up out of his chair and he knocked the lever with his pocket and because he caught his pocket in it, he fell over, knocked himself unconscious but by the time he'd realised, by the time he'd woke up, it was too late and the, uh, the vessel was <laughs> headed towards the, uh, the rocks so it got, uh, he got wrecked on the rocks there but they all got escaped, they all um, got picked up and they were all uh, they were all okay but obviously yeah the uh, the wreck stayed there ever since so yeah a bit of history for you which I found on the internet so yeah so Land's End I'm going to shoot down into Senna now I'm going to walk out onto that harbour wall there because that's pretty smart and maybe do a bit of photography and uh, I don't think Chippy will be open but I could eat some fish and chips I know I like to talk about food on my videos, <laughs> but yeah, I love it. And I think Cop Valley, if you see the point right on the end, that's Cape Cornwall. If you come back towards where I am now, sort of back to sort of west or south, Cop Valley's the, the bay before Cape Cornwall. And I think it may be where that, um, that cliff is in the sun there. That's Cop Valley, I think, just round that corner. So that's where we end up on this particular uh, Cornish coastal adventure. So let's get down into Senin, down this path, and I'll talk to you at the bottom. Speak to you in a minute. So we just got into the harbour at Sinan, walking down the ramp. Lifeboat house, car park at the top of there. Luckily for me, the tide's going out because at high tide it's, it's, it laps onto this, uh, onto the ramp and you can't get round. But what I want to do is, is walk on the end of the wall there. Um, just try a bit of photography, because I'm thinking of doing a pano uh, from off the end of the wall. It does recommend you don't go on there in high seas, but uh, obviously walking on the beach this morning, day two of this particular stage. So yeah, I think I'm going to walk along that wall and try a, a pano, see how that comes out. So let's get on the end of there.
Yeah, just walking along the wall now, up to the end there, just to try and do a panel of of sending. But while I am walking along here, I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank everyone for your recent subscription. It is most welcome. And if you'd like to tickle the notification bell, as they say, and also give the video a thumbs up, that again will be fantastic. And if you'd like to look down in the, the description, this is like ice. I suppose, it, I suppose it's seaweed over the years, maybe. Uh, if you'd like to take a look down in the uh, description of the video, you will see links to all my gear. From my gloves, to my tripods, to my filters, to my cameras. So you can see what gear I'm using. So please uh, click on those links there and it'll take you through. And hopefully you can make a purchase there from the link, so thank you. So yes, yeah, so I'm just approaching the end of here, look. I don't quite know what this was used for, but. Oh yeah, okay. right out in the harbour now. Luckily the sea, as I said, is going out and it's relatively calm. Because last time I was here, <clears throat> I did a bit of long exposure photography just down on that small beach there, where that canoe is, there's a guy about to go out on his canoe. <coughs> I did some long exposure photography, because um, the waves were, well, they weren't, they weren't that strong, but they were coming over the wall. And I'll drop a few images on the screen now of some of the waves coming over the wall. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna try and do a pano uh, of sending. What's that, a basketball hoop? It's like a basketball hoop. I don't think it will be. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be something to do with fishing. But um, yeah, so I'm going to get my camera set up and try and try and do a nice pano because Cot Valley is, is over in the distance. So I don't quite know what extent the pano will take yet. So I'll spend a couple of uh, spend a couple of minutes set my camera up and then I'll come back to you. So I'll get set up. This is a bit cold stood on here. I've had to put my gloves on. Um, these are the new gloves that I've got. These are Valorec gloves, photography gloves, and you can fold the fingers back. So instead of having freezing fingers, you can in fact move the uh, ends of the gloves back over your fingers and expose your fingers. Pretty cool to be honest, and then you can just fold them back. Part of my video work. And you can fold them back and have warm fingers again. So. I've had to put my gloves on. But no, what I've realised is, it, because it's still too dark at the minute, uh, I'm not going to pick anything up very much on a pano, so I'm currently waiting for the sun to come up a bit more. And I've got this shot of the uh, uh, lifeboat house here, and I'm just trying to find my composition and work out my shutter speed and aperture. And I thought it would probably pick that up best in a, uh, a portrait orientation. But I will try it in landscape, see how it comes out, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll put that on the screen now and then I'll wait for the sun to come up, there's a, like I said there's a guy in a canoe going down on the beach here, if you can see him behind me there, he's about to go out on his canoe, so uh, I'll wait till he disappears and I'll try and do a long exposure, so yeah, speak to you in a second.
Oh, that was bitterly cold. Bitterly cold. Stood on the end of there. There's someone in the harbour there swimming. Oh, swimming. Oh my days, it's freezing. So what I'm going to do now is, is walk back along this wall, this harbour wall. Try not to slip and fall in. It's coming in a bit strong, I must admit. Oh God. Jogging up the beach now. See, I'm gonna walk back along the road and go down to the, uh, to the end there, to the beach and then continue on along the path till they eventually reach Cot Valley. So I'm gonna take you along the road now, down to the other end. So I'll see you on there. Getting to the uh, car park of the big cafe at Senen and the surfing, the surfing place, and I think the coastal path just let this car go past me. I think the uh, I think this here is the coastal path, the start of it. Just thought, yeah, look, there's a sign. Yeah, coastal path, so I'm going to scooch up there, but what I'll do, I'll just show you. The beachfront, in fact, I might walk along the beach, to be honest. Because I think there is a way up. Um, off the beach. Further down, further along, like where those black huts are. I don't know if you can see those black huts in the distance there. A bit this in summer. It's quite difficult to get a parking space on here because it gets absolutely packed. I mean, this is quite a popular surf beach. There's a few surfing schools, there's one further along the road. And there's one just there on the end there. And this does get pretty busy in summer. I mean, it's a nice flat beach. It's quite big when the tide's out. Down this ramp, look. Yeah, been here a few times, I must admit. I know selling quite well. And uh, do cracking fish and chips. And that pub's quite nice at the bottom of the hill. Do some nice food. Yeah, just walking on here, walk onto the beach. It was quite nice to have some sand under my feet, I must admit. Bit of a bumpy bit. Oh, and I'm on. I'm on. And of course, I've just been on that pier there on the end of there doing that photography. Lifeboat house. Walked along the road, come down the ramp. I'll tell you one thing though, I'm glad I've got these gloves. These are phenomenal, phenomenal gloves. So I'd certainly recommend buying a pair and click on the description below. There's a link there, which will take you straight through. I mean, my hands are just like toast, if I'm honest. <laughs> See, I'm just trying to work out how far. God, it goes on for miles, this beach. Absolute miles. But yeah, I'm just trying to work out how far it is before I can cut back up. Because I'm aiming for those black huts. 
I think there's a, there's a hut just here, which I think is like a cafe or something, or maybe a lookout, and then there's some just a bit further along. Because obviously I need to be on the coastal path, so I can get round to Cot Valley, which is way over yonder. So I might just push on here a bit further, see if I can uh, just spot somewhere I can get up onto the path. Yeah, that's a that's a lifeboat. Look out, lifeguards. There was a guy just in front of me. Well, a few hundred yards, and I was just trying to, trying to spot him as to see where he got out up onto the coastal path, but he's vanished. I mean, I'm wondering if we'll find anything if I carry on. So I'm wondering whether to go back to that signpost that I saw and follow it maybe up there, but I think it might pull up the side of the hill to the houses at the top. I don't know, I'll just push onto these rocks and see what we get. Yeah, I've just got to this these steps here that go up there and I'm assuming they follow up I don't know if you can see the signpost the lamppost sorry I think the path then does go up there to the top of the hill but the distance I've had to walk to get to this I've had to walk right on from oh dear from Senin just take that off to get to here and of course walking through the sand as you can imagine I'm sure is it's quite tough with these these boots on so I'm wondering it might be better for me to go back to the car park and go up the coastal path from that signpost that I've just shown you and then walk up that way so I mean this has took me half an hour to walk to this point, I'm in right at the end of Senan Beach. I've never been this far before. Plenty of dog tracks. Yeah, I think the path goes behind this little hut. I think it scooches up that hill to that point there and then round the corner. And of course I'm going all the way along there, around that point and, and on, because that, that one in the distance it's Cape Cornwall, like I said on earlier. And uh, Cot Valley is before that, luckily. <laughs> so yeah, God dear, what a walk, what a walk. So I think, yeah, I can't really get around here on the end of this beach. I can't get around those rocks. I don't want to climb around those rocks. Um, I know the tide is on its way out, but I don't know what time low tide is. Mind you, it doesn't come in. If the tide did come in, it doesn't cover the whole beach. So I'm not gonna get cut off. I don't know if you could just spotted Longship's Lighthouse in the distance there. Right there, off Land's End. See, so yeah, I think I'm gonna make my way back to the car park and then walk up the coastal path to get further round. Because that looks a bit treacherous with all my gear on the rocks there on the end. So yeah, so I'll get back to the car park and I'll speak to you when I get back there.
So I'm just getting back to this signpost that uh, I showed you earlier. Oh, there's some steps there. I wonder if I can get up these steps. Because I think that path comes down the side of that hedge. And if it is some steps, that's the result. God, it's tough walking on that sand. Really tough. Are we up here? Oh yeah, there we go. There's a signpost. Yeah, there we are. Right, so we're this way. So I found the path. So let's get around to the next point. I want to uh, apologize for the bit of the gap in the video because I've not been able to get out because we've had a couple of storms flying through I think it was Isha and somebody else can't remember the names why do they name these storms these days because they never did when I was a kid um, but yeah so I've not been out for a couple of weeks so I've just got to Senin just in the distance there and I've just walked past those two black huts and I'm now making my way around to Gwynver Beach at the sea this morning is unreal there is some amazing waves coming in I'm not quite sure what the beach is going to be like but and if there may be any surfers around there I can't see any in the water but yeah there is some amazing waves coming in obviously the tide's in at Senin I've just been on that point just there doing that photography yeah the waves are phenomenal this morning so I'm just walking round the coast path round to Gwynver Beach which is hopefully just round this headland so uh, when I get round there in a second I'll be able to show you that. Oh my God, these waves must be 20 feet. It's quite a stiff breeze as well, to be fair. And there's a nice drop off the edge of the cliff here. Yeah, I was a bit amazed because the path, I thought the path went high up and it doesn't. I've come on past those huts and I think it does split, but I've gone left and come along this lower level one. But yeah, some of the waves, look at some of those out there. Up there. They are phenomenal. So yeah, so let's get around this point. And then uh, I'll go down onto Gwynver Beach. And I'll show you Gwynver Beach. So let's... Uh, Oh wow, check it out. Big one here. <laughs> Look at that. I love it. I love it. So yeah, let's get around to uh, Gwynver.
just getting around the point. Yeah, there's not a soul, not a soul on Coimbra Beach. Not that I suppose I expected to be at eight o'clock on a Sunday morning. <laughs> but yeah, look at that. I'll go down on the beach in a second when I can work out how to get down there. But the waves. I think these are the biggest waves I've seen so far while I've been living in Cornwall. Yeah, they're unreal. Surface paradise, I reckon. But this is the point just below me that I was, uh, well, I decided against walking round just a minute ago. Yeah, I don't think I'd have got round there. Quite treacherous. But yeah, I'll get down onto the beach. down there next to that handrail just going over this little waterfall runoff and this is Gwynver Beach well, it's quite nice in summer bit of a long walk though if I suppose from where I park so unless unless there's another uh, closer car park maybe I'll have a look and if I find one I'll put it on the screen yeah, never been here before. Somewhere else that I've never been. Just trying to work out if there's any photographic opportunities. Oops. Sounds nice and soft. I suppose you don't want to look at my face, do you? <laughs> Just see if I can get to this little rise in the sand. Yeah, it's quite, quite soft, the sand. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And they are some cracking waves. Amazing. Amazing. Well, I'm going, I think the path might go up through those trees and round along. So I don't know if you can see where the sort of landers slipped. And then, oh, that was a big one. And then I don't know if it's around this first point and then the next point. So I think I'm gonna head over to where those trees are to find out where the path is. And then try and get around a bit further there, but yeah, I just don't wanna leave this, this view. See if I can get a bit closer. I don't know if it sounds windy on the mic. Oh, look at that wave. I'd recommend this beach, it's relatively flat. I'm assuming that's a path up there, up to some form of, it's all right, I'm just keeping me out, <laughs> just keeping me out in the sea. I don't know if that's a path up there, up to some, I don't know, a car park maybe. Not quite sure. But yeah, I've just walked along that point there from from Senin. So yeah, so get, let's get along to the other side of the beach. See if I can work out where the path is to get me further around the coast. This is just surface heaven. I mean, some of the waves in the deepest part of the water, I suppose, the ocean, water. They've got to be 20 feet. Which is what, six meters? 
mean, that one right out there, just breaking there. Oh, that was massive. Yeah, I love it. I love it. So yeah, so let's get on to the end of the beach and see where we go from here. Yeah, just found that on the beach. Bit of fishing net. So I'm picking that up and taking it home with me. Put it in the bin. So I hope you guys do the same. Plastic bottle as well. We've all got to do his bit, I suppose. Oh. But yeah, just come off the beach there. And there's like a bit of a rocky path. So you just follow it up off the beach. We'll come around this rocky path. And I'm assuming it shoots off up there, look in the distance. So you can see what the next point is round here, which I don't quite know what's next round here, to be honest. And I'm just wondering, no, surely the sea don't come in as far as this. It must be, must be close to high tide now. I can't see the water coming up as far as this. the next point and to be honest with you I think these these waves are getting bigger because on the end of where I'm just about to take you to the waves oh my god look at that one on the end the waves are just hammering the rocks so I don't know if the wind's picked up or if the tide has maybe come in a bit more. But yeah, oops. So I'm a bit, a bit close to the edge. <laughs> and I found myself just wandering off a bit then looking at the sea. So uh, that's probably not a good idea, to be honest. Because I don't want to end up down there, which is 50, 60 feet down there and that'll be me doomed. So yeah, I want to get onto the end of that point there to show you these waves. Yeah, just getting around to this. Oh, look at that wave, that is massive. Look at that. That is unreal, but yeah, just getting around to this point. Look, I don't know if you can see, see the sea <laughs> battering these rocks. I don't quite know where I'm. Just let me get up this path. Ow. Up these steps. Oh, just bear with me a second. Can I go down? I can, yes. I'm gonna go down here, look, and take you down here. I think that's where you're supposed to go. I don't know, is that classed as the... Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that wave. Oops. Just slip there. Oh, check that out for this. Oh. This is unreal. Whoa, dear me, the wind's picked up. Oh, I'm getting a bit of spray as well. I just want to see a massive wave crash into these rocks here for you. Yeah, obviously I've come past off the point quite a bit that's why the wind's picked up I suppose but 
quick get up here, I don't want to miss a wave. Yeah, just let me hang around here for a couple of seconds. See if a wave comes in. Oh, come on. It's been hammering these rocks while I've been walking around. As soon as I get here, nothing. Oh, the wind's blowing the camera like you've never known. So we're going to do it. Not bad, not bad. I want one too. Oh dear. Just took it a bit higher. Oh, there's a big wave there, look off the edge. Oh, I think this might be a good one. Hopefully. Yep, here we go, I think. Whoa! <laughs> oh, and again. Oh, dear. Oh, I love the taste of sea salt. Oh, look at that one! Oh my days! Oh, but what a view, what a view. And then this round here, look, I don't quite know. Oh, has the path gone? Oh, I can't get any further. Well, how do I get round then? God, this is like the moon. Not that I've ever been on the moon. Oh yeah, I reckon all that lot's gone. Oh, there's got to be another path somewhere. I'll have to try and find it. But yeah, I don't quite know if I can take you out onto these rocks. Let's have a quick look. Let me just pick a way through here. I'm doing it again, aren't I? I'm climbing rocks. Oh, the lens is a bit wet as well. Let me just see if I can... Oh, take you around here a second. Just to get up on this big rock here. Oh, that's some waves coming in as well. Oh, oh yes. Oh, look at the swell down here. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, there must be a path. There's a guy walking on. Oh, these waves are just phenomenal. Oh my god, look at this one! Holy sh... Oh my god. I think these have got to be the biggest waves I've ever seen in... Holy sugar me! Bloody hell, I thought that were coming for me then. That's like 20 metres away from me. I don't want to stop this video. Oh dear. So I think round that next point there, may or may not be Cot Valley. But I don't know if that's called Commando Ridge. I know there's something here on this particular part of the coast called Commando Ridge. Oh. God, sorry about that. The wind just got hold of me then, wow. Um, yeah, I think there's something called Commando Ridge for obvious reasons, where the army train. I don't know if Cotwell, they might be a bit further on. So yeah, I'm gonna see if I can try and find uh, where the where the path is, I mean, there's a guy just walked around, so I'm assuming you can get a bit further and just uh, take you further around there. But some of those waves, they were unbelievable. So yeah, see if I can get back across this lunar landscape and uh, get further around on the path. But not break my neck.
So I managed to find that path that had broken. I managed to find an alternative route on the point there. That's where the waves were crashing in. But in this last 20 minutes, half an hour, to me getting round here, the winds have suddenly picked up and it's gone really dark. I don't know if you can make that out on camera. I mean, I've only walked. Well, I don't know, that's probably a few hundred yards, 300 yards. And I've had to put my hood up because I don't want to lose my hat. <laughs> oh dear. But there's some massive waves as well. Enormous. Bigger than what were when I was just on there. In the space of three, four hundred yards. It's unbelievable how the weather can change. I've had to take my gloves off because my hands were sweating. And hopefully you can hear me on, on the mic. Oh God, Benny. Hopefully you can hear me on the mic with the wind. But I'm really exposed. I'm just walking up this path. I'm heading now towards uh, Nanquidnu. I think that's how you say it. But yeah, there's just a, a slope, steep, sl steep slope down to the sea. And I don't quite know what we're going to experience when we get up to these rocks. So, uh, God knows if we get past this lot. Oh, massive wave. Oh, look at that one. Can I get down to that? I might see if I can get down onto that little depression bit there. I'm going again, aren't I? I'm starting to climb rocks again. I enjoy it though. <laughs> I enjoy it. As long as I live to film the next one for you. See, so yeah, I might try and, oh, I don't know. I'll see what's over this clump of rocks. And I might see if I can try and get down to that depression. Just about there. See if I can film the sea for you. Just a massive boulder chilling. I'm assuming that's come from falling down from there, but made a nice little path down the rock. So yeah, let's see if I can climb over this mountain and see if I can get down to the bottom there. Yeah, I've just come round the corner. I've just come round this corner and the wind has just hit me. Apologies for the sound. I wanted to go down there. But that's a bit of a... Bit of a... I thought that was a rock. or whatever leave a comment if you know what that is I was going to put my foot on that yeah I was going to stand on there to show you off the edge I don't quite know what's under there so I don't fancy that it's on the same way I am I'll see what I can show you some of these waves it's unbelievable the wind is horrible now and it's weird how it's just picked up in this last 20 minutes and when I'm eventually going round sort of off that point there I mean this is an enormous looks like a man's face looks like a man's face nose, mouth, chin maybe I don't know a bit like me Down here, it's a bit of a drop. Just bear with me a second. Oh. Oh, sugar. Oh, I can't get out. I'm not climbing that. I've got to go back over there and round. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, so I want to get a bit further around the path. I think I've got to also climb over these rocks to carry on around the path. 
that's if I don't get blown off the cliff so yeah so I'll get back over this rock and I'll get further up the path wow that's took my breath I can actually see Land's End in the distance as well but yeah let me just uh, come back to you in a second <laughs> can't get any further Yeah, that was a nice. There's one or two of those muddy patches, but I suppose it's to be expected. Now this, that says Nan Julian, um, and I know you can go up that path there and over the coastal path that goes over the top, or you can cut down here and go down into Nanquidno, and this is Nanquidno. Or, if I'm wrong, Nan Julian. <laughs> so if anybody knows, I don't know if one might be the Cornish name. So just negotiating these steps, which it's a bit of a tricky, bit of a tricky path that bit. There's a lot of quite steep rocks and boulders to get round on the points there. Um, some quite tight squeezes to get in. And if you've got a big bag like what I have. It's a bit of a joke, which way do I go here? Down the steps, yeah. Um, yeah, so this is down to Nanquidno. And I think, whoa, I think uh, Cop Valley is just around the corner because those two rocks out there, I don't know if you can see them in the distance. I think they're called the Brissons and they are off um, Cop Valley. So I'd, I think it's it's not the next one I think it might be the next one so I've got a fair bit to go here but it's been quite a challenge this one to be honest because filming in winter in the uh, dark winter months obviously you can't start filming till eight o'clock half eight when the sun comes up so it's uh, it's been a bit of a challenge and it's taken me you know a lot longer than what I wanted to but you know it's a marathon not a sprint is that the one I think so yeah I'm just coming down into Nanquid no let me concentrate a sec so I don't break one of my ankles on these boulders yeah so there's a stream here look running from up the top a little stone bridge quite nice there running off the hills down to the sea oh and these waves are epic I'll just take it out here these waves are epic like I said this wind's come out of nowhere yeah it looks a bit can I get a bit further forward I don't know I'll see nice sunrise now but it's brightened up when I first started it was really dark as I've just said and I thought it was going to slam it down because it went that sort of really 
dark heavy rain clouds and I thought all right here we go I'm gonna check the weather and uh, didn't say it was gonna rain but this is good old England and it can rain at the drop of a hat as I'm sure we're all the way so yeah oh well never mind so I'm now just working my way past through Nanquid now over another bridge oh. That's a nice photographic opportunity. Another one there shooting out to sea. Nice mountains in the distance, nice sky. I might see if I can do a picture. Do a quick photo of that. Let me just take you around to this little peninsula. Ooh. Is that a geological fault there? Is that lifted or has this sunk? That just like that just looks like it's lifted up out the floor. Strange. Yeah, it does. Oh, that along there, that's weird. That looks like it's well dropped at the back and lifted at the front. Along there. Oh, what a view. Oh, what a view. And I've just walked on for him. That point just there, that's Land's End, I don't know if you can see uh, the house on the top. You've got the big white house, which is all the houses in Senin, and then right on the end, you get the first and last house, and then you get the hotel at Senin. I'm not sure if you can pick this out on this camera, with it being a wide angle camera. Yeah, it's quite nice. Again, somewhere I've never explored before. Really nice with the sun now on the on the clouds. Really nice. So yeah, I think I'm going to try a photo of that um, little stream, and then I'm going to walk up the path up to the top of there, up to there to see what we've got over the top, and then Cot Valley. I'm hoping is. <laughs> I know I've been saying this. I'm hoping he's uh, not too far away now. But yeah, it's took, uh, it's took a while, but anyway, such is life. So yeah, I'll try this photograph and I'll, let's get moving. Yeah, just come through that style. We've all got to keep them closed just to stop animals wandering around. And I've come into this, I don't know, is it a field? Mine shaft? I think, yeah. Can't really see down there because it's all overgrown. And I'm assuming there's another one. See, the path is naturally taking me or wanting me to go up there, I suppose, but I want to see what's up here. Over the top of this hill. Is that another mine shaft there? I don't know. Bit of a depression. But yeah, I'm going, I want to go up here. That's just been down in the bottom there, nine quid no. And I'll put the photo that I took of the little bridge on the screen. That's been a tough climb, that has. And I've got to the top of this. See what we got. Oh. Wow. Oh, that wind's a bit strong. Yeah, what a view, as you can imagine. Yeah, I think Cot Valley, I don't know if you can see these rocks just sticking out with the brown. Oh, sorry, this wind's taking me, taking me, the wind's taking me, taking me breath. So I thought I lost my mic. Yeah, I don't know if you can see the brown. See if I can do it this way around so I can breathe. 
I don't know if you can see the brown cliffs or cop valleys the next one round so I don't know if you can see that stone sticking out on the top that is Cop Valley, so it's over the next one. So it's over this, over the next one, and then finally to Cop Valley. But I notice there's a lower level path down there, it looks like as well. I don't know if you can make out the feds. So I don't know if you can get around there, but I think I'm gonna shoot up the path that is obviously, well, not marked out for hikers, but it's obviously a well-trodden one. So I'm going to get down this little mound, try not to fall down a mine shaft. <laughs> I think get up, get up to the top of this hill here and then see where it takes me. So I'll see at the top of there. Oh dear. And on my way down to Cot Valley, and what I'm filming now, is a week further on from what you've just watched due to the weather because as soon as I finished filming where I've just been the weather completely turned again and when it was you know a decent sunny morning just turned into a bit of a disastrous day so I had to stop filming <coughs> so now it's a week further down the line and I'm not sure if you can make it out, but it's unreal. The fog is just phenomenal. And I've just walked on from Cot Valley. I've parked in Cot Valley and I'm walking back to, or I've walked back to Nine Quid now. And now I'm walking back to Cot Valley, back to my car to film a bit in Cot Valley. But the fog, it's a pea super, as we call it which is a really thick fog or mist or sea fret. I don't quite know what the distance is and how you distinguish between the two. But yeah, the weather is just so unpredictable. It's, it's unreal. I mean, this is something that I'm still getting used to living down here. I mean, one minute it's bright sun. The next minute <coughs> it's fog and hail and rain and sleet. And <laughs> oh dear. But, you know, you have to keep battling on. But what I'm going to have to do is think about this for next year. Because it's proving to be very difficult filming in these winter months. Because what, we're in mid-Feb. I started doing this particular stretch of the Cornish coast back on the 7th of January. At the beginning of the video there, where I'm at Land's End. That was, I think, the 7th of January. And now it's the, what, 16th of Feb? So it's took me over a month to film this bit. Whereas in summer, it probably took me a couple of weeks. So that's something that I'll have to think about for next year, for the forthcoming videos, for you guys. Because obviously in summer, I can get a lot more videos out. Whereas in the winter months, I, uh, I won't be able to. But hopefully, you've watched the short video that I recorded when I got here. If not, it's on the screen there of, uh, of how foggy it is. Now I'm at the top of a hill, so obviously I'm higher up and I'm just walking through along this path here. And there's a lot of these muddy pools and what have you, as you can imagine, to negotiate. But as you do get down towards the sea, closer down to the sea, you're underneath the fog so it becomes a bit brighter. So when I get down into uh, Cot Valley, hopefully I'll be able to sh show you down there and do a bit of photography, because I love Cot Valley. Cot Valley, when I was a kid, was my favorite place to go, because there's a, a stream running through the middle, and there's loads of massive boulders and rocks, and this is Dinosaur Egg Beach, what I mentioned at the beginning, but I don't know if the tide's in or out, or I don't know which way it's which way it's turning. I don't know if it's going out or coming in. So we'll have to see when we get down there. So uh, yeah, let's hopefully get down to Cot Valley if I don't get lost, because there's lots of little snickets leading off up to a higher path and up to a farm and 
down to the coast so hopefully I'll pick the right path and uh, we'll get down to Cot Valley but what I would recommend before I go is these gloves Valorette gloves photography gloves you can pull the fingers back which is what I've done to start recording this but your hands it just keeps them so warm it's unbelievable and there's a link in the description there to these gloves that I'm using and they are well worth the money well worth the money so click on the link there pop along and have a look and see what you think so let's see if I can get a bit further away Woo! slipped on that <laughs> let's get a bit further on see if I can make it down in one piece and I'll hopefully come back to you in a second Yeah, I just got onto this point and I thought I'd just stop and show you the view <laughs> not that there is much of a view because it's as foggy as hell but I'll just turn my camera around and see how it picks it up that's just amazing that is amazing now, whoops, sorry about that the camera's slipped in my hand there's a guy coming up here yeah, amazing view. Absolutely phenomenal. The sea's coming in. Quite strong on the breeze. Yeah, it's lovely. So I'll get down into uh, Cot Valley. Nearly down into Cot Valley now. And I think the fog is lifting because I can see the brissons, which are the rocks that I've mentioned before, I don't know if you can see those just poking out the mist so by the time we get down into Cot Valley, hopefully it'll have lifted a bit more and I'll be able to show you Dinosaur Egg Beach so not far, not far and I've come across lots of little caves I don't know if you can see that in there let's have a look I don't quite know how stable it looks up there, but oh, I think there might be a big boulder that's collapsed and you can't get, oh yeah, I think it stopped, oh, I don't know, it goes up where that big boulder is there, that white boulder, it goes, rises, rises up behind there yeah, I don't know if that lot's sunk below it can't get out now but yeah, I think there's a lot of little coves and caves and What's this one here? This looks like a big one. I mean, look at the view. But yeah, I don't know what we've got in here. Oh, there's some wire across it, look. Let me just climb over these rocks. Oh yeah, that goes back some way. Oh yeah, wow. Oh, it's just a mine shaft. Well, that looks man-made, so I don't know what's happening across there, but yeah, that goes back. That goes back about 40, 50 feet in there. Yeah, so you can hear the water dripping as well inside. Obviously with the rain we've had, we've had a lot of that. 
yeah that's one of the biggest sort of little caves I've seen obviously it's a mine shaft but we'll keep on going oh. yeah it's lifting now it's lifting come on lift a bit more <laughs> fingers crossed yeah just got a cop valley I want to show you the view from above Cop Valley. Oh, I can just make out Land's End and Sending now, which I couldn't earlier. I don't think you'll spot those though in the uh, in the fog with this camera. How do I get up here? Because I have been here before. Let me have a look. Looks a lot different than winter when I used to come on holiday. But yeah, this is Cop Valley. So let me. Uh, I'll just turn my camera around. So you can see when I walk up over the rise. And that is Dinosaur Egg Beach. Cop Valley. Or I think it's also locally known as Porth Nanven as well. But I do remember it's quite a, I don't know if you can make out the bench. There's a bench which I'll show you in a second. You can climb down onto the rocks and there is a bit of a beach when the tide's gone out where you can see that massive boulder in the middle of the screen there. When the tide's gone out there is a quite a nice little beach. And I think the tide is on the way out to be honest so hopefully when I get down there it'll have gone out quite a bit more. In fact there is a path to it down there look, let me see if I can let me see if I can get down here because I've got my tripod in my other hand so I haven't got any anything to hold on to if I slip oh my god let me go this way I just want to show you down on this little other path let me just walk down this let me look at it this was my favourite spot as a kid climbing on the rocks and the boulders I must admit, I think it's still one of my favourite places in Cornwall. But it did used to get covered in quite a lot of seaweed. And of course you get those flies that obviously hang around seaweed or live in seaweed. I don't quite know what flies they are. And sometimes we have been here in summer and it was just overrun with flies. So you couldn't really stay that long. But as the tide's coming in out, obviously it takes the seaweed back out. Oh! oh I love this place. I've just walked along the path there. Oh, there's a bit of a cave there. Let me just walk along here. I'll come back to you in a sec so I can put my tripod down. See, I don't know if you can make out the cave which is probably about there and then here there's like a wall, a stone wall so unless that was one of the areas where they brought tin in and then pulled it up the mine to the top because that wall obviously looks man-made and then there's another little slit in the cliffs just a bit further on Yeah, look, Land's End at the top there. Yeah, it's lifted quite a bit now. There, the Brissons. I don't know if you can see the rocks there on the end there, the Brissons. And then if we just walk around here. And then, yeah, that's Cock Valley down there. So what I'm going to do is just get round to the edge of the path and there's a bench about there and you can climb down those rocks onto the boulders but I was hoping to do a bit of photography but if not I have got Cot Valley earmarked to come back and do some uh, photography so if I can't get down onto the sand I'll, uh, I'll come back in better weather and do some photography I think yeah phenomenal so yeah let's get round to that bench 
and then see if we can get down onto the rocks. Yeah, just getting to the bench that I've mentioned where you can just sit here have a picnic or whatever you want to do but this is quite precarious this bit of the cliff face here oh it looks like it's even dropped a bit more yeah all these boulders that concrete used to come all the way up to here and all this is gradually dropping So it's uh, could be quite dangerous. Could be quite dangerous. So I'm just trying to look as to where I can get down onto the rocks, maybe for a bit. Try and do a bit of photography, which I think not before long. I reckon it's going to be hard to get down onto here, but oh well. I just hope no more goes while I'm here. <laughs> Knowing my luck, that whole rock face will collapse. Yeah, it doesn't look the best. So yeah, let's try and get through this lot. And I'll try and get down onto the rocks. I am loving this. I've just done a panel of, uh, of the bay. And now what I've got my lens here, I've got the rock just down here with the sea hitting the rock and I've just got the bit of the cliff edge there in the frame leading up to the top left hand corner and I've positioned that rock there in the right hand third and I'm just doing some, just chuck that down a bit so yeah I'm just doing a, an image of that which I'll pop on the screen now but I can't quite tell if the uh, if the mist has lifted anymore, I think it's probably just stayed at what it is to be honest. But there's some big old waves coming in now. So I'm going to try and do a few pictures of the sea hitting these rocks. And then uh, I might just call it a day. So I'll put the pictures on the screen now. What I've took, the pano in the images of this rock. And I've finally done it. I've finally got to Cop Valley. A month after I started, or third, longer than a month after I started. But it's been a great journey, I've enjoyed this little piece. It's been difficult, it's been tough, the weather's obviously played its major part in it. And there's been some quite tricky spots on the way through. But just look. You know, it's an amazing place. Amazing place, obviously a bit of danger behind you here on this cliff edge. See, I've got to be a bit wary, but it's a lovely beach when the tide's gone out. I'm not quite sure if I'll be here when the tide goes out enough. But like I said earlier, I have earmarked it to come back and just do some photography. So please keep an eye on my website, photographics.com. There's a link down in the description below to my website. And please pop along there, have a look at the images. I've also got quite a lot of drone shots on there, but obviously for this particular stage, I can't use my drone because of the uh, Land's End Airport. So pop along there, have a look at the website. Let me know what you think, and let me know what you think of this video. I love some feedback. I mean, thank you for the recent subscribers I've got. It's, it's just gone ballistic, and I'm, I'm absolutely amazed that I've got that many subscribers as I have. I never thought I'd reach over a thousand, never nine now. I think I'm nearly at 2,000 now, so many thanks for that, many thanks for that. So please keep it on my channel, obviously. Ring the notification bell. Please like and share the video. And of course, please subscribe and you'll get more adventures of the Cornish coast. So I'll just finish up here. I'll take these few images. I'll put them on the screen. And then I um, think I'm gonna go home and get a nice warm cup of tea. So I will speak to you very soon.
for an amazing Cop Valley. I'll see you very soon on the next one. Take care.